Hello and welcome back to Dickinson Dulcimer's instruction videos. Before we get started today, I want to say just a word of encouragement to you about the lessons that we're going to cover today and in the next few videos. Today we're going to cover uh, some scales, several ways to play scales on the dulcimer, and then we're going to cover in the next few videos, we're going to cover some exercises. I know it gets boring, but I want to encourage you to stick with it and learn these scales and practice these exercises. It will help you to become a good dulcimer player and to learn the correct technique and you'll learn to play tunes and things that you enjoy doing so much quicker if you will practice these scales and exercises. So let's get started. Today we're going to learn several ways to play a scale on a hammer dulcimer and I'm going to show you some of the reasons why you need to know these scales. If you'll recall in our earlier videos we talked about boxes and where they are on the dulcimer and we talked about the bridge markers which I'll begin here on this lower right corner and on, on this dulcimer uh, on a 15-14 dulcimer this would be the second bridge marker from the bottom there would be one more below it down here and this would be the second uh, on a 12-11 dulcimer this is the lowest bridge marker on the bottom right side and on a 12-11 dulcimer this is the lowest bridge marker on the treble bridge uh, and that's where we're going to start because everyone has at least a 12-11 dulcimer. And you'll recall that uh, between the, the bass bridge and the treble bridge, we talked about the playing area here. There are two playing surfaces. On the left side, these strings coming to the right of the treble bridge. And on the left side over here, which are the strings coming off of the bass bridge to the left. We play these strings and these strings. And if you look at the bridge markers here, 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 and here they form a box. And this box would be a G. It's, this is a G note, and this is a G scale going up four strings here, one, two, three, four, and then moving to the other side and playing the fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth strings here. We also talked about how important it is to begin with the right or the correct hammer because if you uh, begin with the wrong hammer it'll be very difficult to cross over from this playing surface to this playing surface. That's why when we play four notes on each side we begin with left hammer so that we can play the first note here of this G scale, the second note, third note with left hammer, fourth note with the right hammer, and the left hammer is free to move on over to the fifth note and then six, seven, Eight. So that scale looks like this. I want you to practice that scale, that one four note on each side scale. Uh, and in this box it is a G scale and I want you to practice it until you can play it smoothly without hesitation and from memory. Left hammer, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Now let me say just a word about the learning process on a hammer dulcimer. Don't try to learn eight notes at a time. Learn four notes at a time, or three notes at a time, or even two notes at a time. Many times on a difficult passage on the hammer dulcimer, even professional players break it down into two and three and four note sequences so they can learn a few notes at a time and then add notes until they learn the whole sequence. So on this G scale, perhaps what you'd like to do is begin with left hammer on the G, right hammer on the A, left hammer on the B, right hammer on the C. Play that again. Continue to play it over and over until you can play And then once you feel very comfortable with those first four notes, move over to the fifth note, which is here, so that you would add a note by playing. Now, I would like for you to practice that G scale, and then if you'll recall, we talked about this is the G note, G, A, B, C. Since this is a bridge marker, this would begin a C scale. So move up and play the C scale, beginning with left hammer. Left hammer on the C, C, D, E, F, G, A, 
B, C. So now you have a, a G scale and you can move up to the C scale. And those are two scales and then of course if you move on up from the C, D, E, F, you move from this bridge marker, the C scale, C, D, E, F, to begin here, this would be an F, an F scale and you could play it F, So these three scales, the G scale, the C scale, and the F scale in the valley. We remember we talked about this being in the valley because the strings go down to form a little valley in the middle and playing between these two bridge, the bridges, the bass bridge and the treble bridge, playing in this area with both hammers is called playing in the valley. So we've now learned three scales in the valley. Let's move over to the treble bridge. When we play on the treble bridge, uh, we only use the bridge markers that are on the treble bridge and we play on each side of the bridge markers to form the box. And so this is a D scale and the, the string or the chorus to the right of this bottom bridge marker is a D note. And so this is a D scale. The box is formed by looking to the right of the bridge marker for the lower right corner of the box and going up four strings, one, two, three, four, and the right of the bridge marker here is the top right corner of the box. The bottom left corner of the box is here and the top left corner of the box is here. So this is the box. These, these eight strings, are the, is they, these are the box, form the box for a D scale. So we do exactly the same thing as we did over here by beginning with left hammer on the D excuse me, on the G, except now we're beginning on a D, and so this is a D scale, and it's, it, it, it's played by using the exact same moves with the hammer, you're just in a different place on the dulcimer. So this is your D scale. So now we've learned a G scale, We've learned a C scale, we've learned an F scale, and now we're back down to the bottom of the treble bridge and we're beginning with a D scale. Now if we count up D, E, F, G, and I realize this is an F sharp, but we just call it an F for our purposes here today. D, E, F, G, then this is a G scale beginning here. Now, if you'll recall, when we began here, it was also a G scale. And so there's a G scale here, and there's another G scale here. And notice how it works together, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. The last note of this G scale is the first, no is the first note of this G scale. So we now have gone from the D scale the G scale, G, A, B, C, now we have a C scale. And if you'll recall, this was a C scale here. Now let's put a couple of those scales together. Let's begin with this G scale in the valley and then move to the G scale on the treble bridge on the mountain. Notice I played a note up here that we haven't been playing. It's above the box. And the reason for that is because this, when I played this G scale here, I started with left hammer here. And I hit this G note with right hammer, not left hammer. And so when I, because I hit it with right hammer, it means my left hammer was at this fourth note and I couldn't cross over very easily. And so instead of crossing over to play this note, I just played it here. These are the same notes. So I played left, right, left, right, excuse me, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So if we are going to play a left hammer scale, we play four notes up each side. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. 
If we play a right hammer scale, we begin with right hammer and play five notes up one side and three up the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we skip this note because we play it up here. So it's right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. And so now we have learned two ways to play scales and I'd like to encourage you to practice these scales. We have in the valley, we have a scale here, which is the G scale, a C scale here, an F scale here, a D scale on the mountain, a G scale on the mountain, and a C scale on the mountain. So play those six scales over and over until you're very comfortable uh, with your ability to play them from muscle memory without hesitation and smoothly. And, uh, and, and now what I'd like to do before we end this video is I'd like to show you a practical application of learning the scales. Uh, what, if we use a right hammer scale, and I'll just, uh, for instance, use this G scale. We'll begin there. There is an Irish tune called Whiskey Before Breakfast, and it has these beginning notes. in the beginning of that Irish tune is exactly what you're playing when you're playing a five note right hammer scale. You may want to practice that till you can play it pretty quickly. I'm not, I don't expect you to play that whole passage yet, but you will by the time we are through with these videos. But for now, practice the opening passage. I'd like to encourage you to go to DickinsonDulcimer.com and look on our home page. We have an instruction manual for hammer dulcimer players, beginner and advanced beginner hammer dulcimer players. It is a companion uh, manual, instruction manual for these video lessons. Uh, give it a look and if you like it you can purchase one right there on the website. Until next time this is Jess Dickinson and thank you for joining us.